Okay, consider this curve. Let's call this point A, point B, point C, and point D. Okay. From A to B, the gradient is positive. From B to C, the gradient is negative. From C to D, the gradient is positive. Okay. This point here, point B, the gradient here is zero. Kasi kapag nag-drawing ka ng horizontal line yan, of course, tangent line, no? So, dy over dx is zero. Horizontal. Ganun din sa C, sa point C. Now, we call this point as maximum point. Okay? Ito naman sa C, we call this the minimum point. And such points are called turning points. Okay? Turning points. Turning points kasi from positive to negative, then negative to positive. Yan. Okay, example tayo. Let's see. Number one. Uh, y equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. So, find the uh, turning points and uh, determine the nature of that point. So, yun ang ating problem, no? Uh, given yung equation or ating function, ito. The first step is to differentiate. Okay. Differentiate mo na with respect to x. So, we have uh, 6x minus 4. Then, the next step is to set dy over dx to 0. Para malaman natin yung turning point, no? So, 6x minus 4. Bakit natin sinet sa 0? Kasi, going back here, no? Tingnan mo yung ating graph. From positive gradient to, bago dumating nung B, no? From A to B. Ito positive. Dito sa point B, ang gradient natin dito ay 0. Then, bababa siya, no? Gradient natin from B to C is minus or negative. Kaya sinet natin sa 0 para makumuha natin yung turning point. Okay. So, solve for x. So, x is ilan? x is equal to 4 over 6 or 2 thirds. Now, pag nakuha mo na yung value ng x, kunin mo naman yung value ng y dun sa function mo, dun sa original. So, substitute lang natin yung 2 thirds. So, y equals 3 times 2 thirds square minus 4 times 2 thirds plus 2. So, y is equal to, this is 4 over 3, okay, minus 8 over 3 plus 2. Or, y is equal to 2 thirds. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung ating point is at, eto yung mga coordinates natin, ano? Yan. Yan. So, this is the turning point. Now, to determine the uh, nature of this point, kung maximum ba ito, kung minimum, or point of, of inflection ba yan, kailangan gamitan natin ng second derivative test. Okay? Kunin natin yung second derivative nito. Okay? So, kapag ang result natin dito is positive, yung point na ito is minimum. Okay? Kapag naman ang nakuha natin value is minus or negative, this point is maximum. Okay? Now, kapag ang nakuha man natin sagot dito sa dy or second derivative of y with respect to x is zero, ang tawag natin dito is the point of inflection. No? Yes. O, sige. Get the second derivative of y. So, we have 6. ba? Positive. O, positive. Kapag positive, meaning, itong point natin is minimum. So, minimum at 2 thirds, 2 thirds. So, this is your answer. Madali lang, di ba? Yes. Okay, number two. Okay, x equals uh, theta times quantity 6 minus theta. Okay, distribute muna natin to. 6 theta minus theta square. Okay. Then, differentiate. dx over d theta equal to 6 minus 2 theta. Then, set this to 0. 0 equals 6 minus 2 theta. Solve for theta. Theta equals 3. 
Then, yung nakuha nating value, lagay natin doon sa original function. So, we have x equals 3 times 6 minus 3. Or 3 times 3, x equals 9. So, ang ating point is at 3 and 9. Yon. Ano naman ang nature niyan? O, second derivative test. Okay, so, what's the derivative of this? Minus 2. O, negative. So, kapag negative, maximum. Meaning, maximum at 3, 9. And this is your answer. Very easy. Di ba? Yes. Okay, another. Number 3. Okay, y equals 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 60x minus 12. Okay, dy over dx equals 12x plus 6x minus 60. Okay, then set this to 0. 0 equals, may square pa yan, no? 12x squared plus 6x minus 60. Divisible by 6, 0 equals 2x squared plus x minus 10. Okay, ano to? Quadratic, no? So, pwede tayong gumamit ng uh, quadratic formula or uh, pwede natin i-factor or pwede naman tayong gumamit ng calculator. So, mode 5, 3. Equation, no? Uh, I mean, quadratic. Sige, coefficient na lang ang input natin. So, coefficient of x squared is 2. Press equals. Then, coefficient of x is 1. Press equals. And the constant is minus 10. Press equals. And equals again. First value is 2. Dapat two values kasi yan, square. Second value is, press equals again. Negative 5 over 2. Okay. So when x equals 2, what is y? So y is 4 times 2 cubed plus 3 uh, times 2 square minus 60 times 2 minus 12. So y equals, so we have here 8 times 4, 32. This is how much? 4, 12, minus 120, minus 12. O, oh, cancel na to. 32, minus 120. Uh, minus 88. Okay, sige. So, yung point natin is, or the first point is at 2 and, I think coordinates natin. No? Yan. 88. Okay, when x is minus 5, over 2. What is y? y equals 4 times negative 5 over 2 cubed plus 3 times negative 5 over 2 square minus 60 times negative 5 over 2 minus 12. y is equal to okay, balik natin to. So we have so let's going original equation no? 4x cubed plus 3x square, okay, minus 60, then x minus 12. Calculate, negative 5 over 2, okay, negative 5 over 2, press equals, 94.25. So, yung ating sunod na point is negative 5 over 2 and 94.25. So, ano naman nature ng mga points na to? Let's see. So, use the uh, second derivative. Okay? So, second derivative nito. So, we have uh, second derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 24x plus 6. Okay? So, when x is, what is x? Yun, 2. When x is 2, d square y, dx square equals 24 times 2 plus 6. Okay? Positive yan. Yun lang kailangan natin. Now, kung positive yan, meaning, 2 and uh, yung minus 88 kanina, no? Maximum ito. I mean minimum. This is minimum. Minimum at 2 minus 88. Yan. Yung isa naman, when x is negative 5 over 2, the second derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 24 times negative 5 over 2 plus 6. So, ito, 12 
Negative 12 times 5, negative 60. So, negative ito. Kung negative yan, yung point natin na negative 5 over 2, 94.25, maximum. Iyan ang answer mo. Yes. Madali pala ito. Okay. Okay, number 4. Sige, isa pa. Um, y equals 5x minus 2 ln x. Okay. So, first step, differentiate dy over dx. E equals 5 minus 2. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Okay. Set this to 0. 0 equals 5 minus 2 over x. Solve for x. x is equal to. Di pa sa kabila. Okay. So, 2 over 5. Yes. Yes. And solve for y. y is equal to 5 times 2 over 5 minus 2 ln of 2 over 5. Okay. What is y? y is equal to 2 minus uh, 2 ln of 2 over 5. Okay. Calc na lang yan. 2 minus 2 ln of uh, 2 over 5. Okay. Then press equals 3.83. So, y equals 3.83. So, yung point natin is 2 pips and 3.83. Okay? So, what is the nature of this point? Oh, use second derivative of y with respect to x. There. So, anong derivative nito? So, minus, minus 2, then minus 1 over x squared. Okay. So, this is equal to 2 over x squared. So, kapag sinubstitute mo yung 2 doon sa x, yung 2 over 5 doon sa x squared, o oh, positive pa rin yan. No? So, this is positive. Yun lang kailangan natin, yung sign. Positive. So, if this is positive, this point is minimum. So, minimum at 2 pips, 3.83. This is your answer. Oh, madali lang talaga, no? Okay, another. Number na, number 5. Okay. So, y equals 2x minus e raised to x. Okay, differentiate dy over dx equals 2 minus derivative of this is e to the x. Okay, set this to 0. 0 equals 2 minus e to the x. Solve for x. So, lipat mo na sa kapila. e to the x equals 2. Then, uh, ln of e raised to x equals ln of 2. Then, x ln e equals ln 2. This is 1. So, x is equal to ln 2. So, x equals ln 2. And ln 2 is equal to? Zero point six nine three. Okay? Kapag nakakuha ka ng value, lagay natin dun sa function natin. So, original. So, if x is 0 0.0 or 0.693, what is y? y is equal to 2 times 0 0.693 minus e raised to 0 0.693 and y is equal to calculator na lang. So, store na lang natin to. Yes. Let's multiply this by 2. Yep. Minus raised to. Okay. Recall. Yon. Equals negative 61.4. There. So, meron tayong point at 0 0.693. And negative 0 0.614. Then, what is the nature of this point? Oh, second derivative tayo. dy over dx. What is the derivative of this? Minus e to the x. Yes. So, obvious naman, no? Minus yan. So, kung negative yan, maximum yan. Di ba? So, maximum at 0 0.693 minus 0 0.614. So, this is your answer. Okay. One more. Number six. Okay. 
Let's say y equals t cubed minus t squared over 2 minus 2t plus 4. Okay? So differentiate y with respect to t. So we have 3t squared. Then we have 2. Bababa yung 2. So cancel na. Minus t na lang. Minus 2. Okay, then set this to 0. 3t squared minus t minus 2. Pwede kang gumamit ng quadratic formula. Pwede kang mag-factor. Or pwede ka rin mag-calculator. So mode, 5, then 3. Equation, coefficient, 3, minus 1, and minus 2. Okay. Press equals. X is 1. The other one is. Equals again, minus 2 thirds. I mean, t pala ito, ano? t sub 1. Ayan. Kasi t, t yung variable natin. Okay, so. When t is 1, what is y? Oh, 1 cubed minus 1 square over 2 minus 2 times 1 plus 4. y is... Okay, this is 1 minus 2, negative 1. Okay, negative 1 plus 4, that's 3. Tama ba? <laughs> so, ulit. So, ilan na to? This is 2. Tapos ito ay... Yeah, 2 plus 1, 3. Minus 1 half. So, 2 and 1 half. Or 2.5. Yes. Okay, so meron tayong point na 1 and 2.5. Yun yung una. Okay. So, when t is minus 2 thirds, what is y? Okay. Y is, hindi ko na isulat, no? Diretso ko na rito sa calcu. So, we have uh, cube, no? T cube. Okay. Minus uh, t square over 2. Then, minus 2t plus 4. Okay. Calculate. Ang value natin ng uh, t is minus 2 thirds. Minus 2 thirds equals yon 4.81. So, we have minus 2 thirds and 4.81. Okay. Ano naman nature ng mga points na to? So Use the uh, second derivative. Anong derivative nito? 60 minus 1. Okay. Then when t is 1, d square y dt square is 6 times 1, 6 minus positive. O, yun lang kailangan natin. It's fine. So, ibig sabihin, this point is minimum. Okay. O, yung malamang isa, maximum na yan. O, di ba? O, tingnan natin. When t is minus 2 thirds, the second derivative is 6 times negative 2 thirds minus 1. O ilan yan? Uh, 6, 2, tama? 2 times 2, negative 4. O negative na yan. Diba? Kapag negative, meaning this point is maximum. There. Very easy. Yes? Okay. So, in the next video, maxima minima naman tayo. Okay? So, I'll see you there. Bye-bye.